Oh, what's up everyone, my name is Nagark and welcome to a new series. I'm going to be playing Mecho Echo. I don't honestly know how to describe the game, so I'm just going to, well, you can kind of see it right there in the background, but I'm just going to sort of hop into the game. I do have to replay the first level because I completed that one. So replay. It's the prologue, Return from the Depths, and it just gives us like a slight little bit of story. Um, oh right, this part is a little bit long. Uh, well, whatever. It's not too long. Especially if I keep talking. It'll feel far, far less long. Watch. I'm gonna show you. If I keep talking. Just, just ignore the length of the thing on the screen and listen to my words instead of the loud jingle things happening right now. It's creating our character, okay? That's what it's doing. It's being all cinematic about it. That's us. That's us. We have tits, because we're a girl. Was that a sexist thing to say? No, that's not sexist. Girls have tits. That's what they do. I left-click to talk. Uh, to, to, to talk. I can rotate my camera around. I left-click to walk. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Something was very wrong. She had dreamed of waking up in a lush field, of having others around her, all waking up together. But this wasn't a dream. It wasn't a memory. She had planned for this and dreaded it. Do 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 going down the stairs. Then we can zoom in and out. I like I like the current level of zoom. Okay, maybe that's a little bit far out. Why does she keep coming back? Nothing is wrong. Everything is as it should be. Maybe this time she'll understand. Do do boop. You can see the green thing all the way back there. You gotta step on this. That green thing activates. Haha. I've only, I've literally only done this level, so that's why I know this. And it doesn't let you walk off the edge, so if you were thinking that that was a threat, it's not. Look at us go. Oh. Look at us. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I had to get a thumbnail, right? <laughs> and then, uh, right, I didn't get to read this last time. I ran past it on accident. The jumbled pieces in her brain began to assemble. That's right, this was her failsafe. The one nobody else knew. Oh. Cool. So yeah, I missed that text last time. I like walked in the door, and then I saw it as I was going through. And then we can continue on to the next level. Becoming. I'm gonna be coming tonight. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Don't do that. That's gross. We don't talk about that. There's a little thing here. What's this? Free flight? Free flight mode allows you to explore every area of the level. That's cool. Planet JS31, uh, technically acceptable. Species incompatibility 9%. Deficiency land to water ratio. Determination rejected. So I can free flight. Oh, that's fancy. Unfree flight. Uh, that looks like a thing that I should probably stand on, so... No? Oh, okay. I am Cube. This is a walking bot. At the moment, it's not finished. Uh, this is the editor control panel, so we got, like, two buttons. The basic construction block and... Oh, okay, this is an add tool. Are already selected. Build the last leg of the bot using the construction blocks. Haha, I did it. Press the drive button. Uh, W and S, rotate the camera, yeah, okay. Oh, ain't that cool, look at that thing! Oh, that's neat, and we're gonna like, slide down that, I think. I mean, it's the only like, reasonable thing to happen. How's it gonna walk when it's on the edge? I guess the back will still lift. But would it move forward? Huh. Neat. Here we go. Yeah! Still rotating my little legs. We did it. Oh! Is that death? Doesn't look like it. She was the beating heart of the machine. Whatever she needed would become part of her. She had thought ahead, supplying herself the tools to fight whatever she had not thought to avoid. Oh. 
This sounds cool. I don't know why we have this weird trail behind us either, but so far I'm digging it. This is neat. Get ready, jump. Oh god, am I gonna have to, like, do timing jumps? Or am I gonna have to build a jumping bot? Click. Hi. And instruction number 5398. Al, use the simulation environment to test the neural networks with the bodies you produce. If there is no planet with a perfect mix of essential elements, you can modify the basic format of the bodies to help them adapt to their new surroundings. This simulation environment allows you to ensure the neural networks will still function properly with the body modifications. Okay. So I work on this thing. Uh, tell me it's going to give me something to work with here. This is the machine you are going to build. This is the core block. It powers all the other blocks. This is a basic metal block. This block comes in limited supply. I see I have four. These are the add and delete tools. Place four metal blocks in the indicated positions. Hint, if you place a block incorrectly, use the delete tool. Alright, select the engine block. Engines are at the indicated positions. Rotate the camera by dragging the right mouse button. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. I got this. Select the move tool. Up you go. Settings? Setting tool allows you to change the direction of the engines. In this case, all the engines are already spinning in the correct direction. Select the wheel block. I got this. Those are some cool looking wheels, actually. I like that. Drive. So, W and S again. Oh. I see. Oh, don't. Don't do that. Get back. There you go. So we have to not go over this because we would go like crazy. Up we go. Nice landing. People she knew could not be trusted. Al was different. She could talk to him and he would understand. He didn't love her, of course. Uh, didn't love her, of course not. But she could rely on him. She Still, she had doubts. That was why she was here. Okay. Cool. We have doubts of, about Al. Looking for answers. We got this. Don't worry. Okay, so there's a red button here. I don't know if I want to step on this, but we're going to. Is it a timed button? Uh, technically acceptable. Species incompatibility, incompatibility 6%. Low magnesium content. Rejected. So this doesn't move while I'm not on it. Alright. So I see. We have to go up here and find a way to push that block over. Oh, what's this? Hi. Shorter vehicles may tilt during acceleration. Longer vehicles are more stable. That's a hint. Alright, so we gotta push that down onto the thing. Yeah, oh, it gave us it gave us free free rain here, so let's not disappoint. It probably just wants us to do something silly like this. There you go. There you go. Are they all in the right direction? They are. Bump it up one so we can put some wheels on this sucker. There you go. Drive it. Oh god. Uh. Oh please. Please. Well, I died in this tutorial. Can my... can my thing fit on this, though? I think so, if, assuming it gives me the time. There you go. Yeah. 
cool. I did it. I could have just turned into human form, by the way, but what fun is that? The sterile world was not supposed to be their home. This was for testing prior to disembarking. Compatibility could be confirmed here safely. Oh, okay, so that's what we're... You are not alone. That's like all the stuff that we're seeing. Oh god, this is the thing that was on that, uh... The main screen. Okay, so I guess we just bump our way over here. Oh, that looks difficult. How am I going to get past this? This is an engine. Yes, thank you. This is an unpowered rotor. It has no more motor. What wheels attached to it will rotate if an external force is applied. To create a stable front wheel drive vehicle, use unpowered rotors in the back and engines in the front. This is a rod. Rods can be attached to unpowered rotors, engines, and wheels. Rods can also be attached to other blocks, but in that case, they won't rotate. So, we have to... I think I see. Hold on. We get a blickety block here, 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 and here, right? We get engines up in the front. And then we get these bad boys right there. And then I get rods? Right, I need to lift you. Up you go. Make sure that they're spinning forward, which they are. Drive it. I see. Edit. Okay, good. It doesn't make me get stuck, so I have to uh, delete that. My wheels were not far enough. So how about uh, how about that? Were my wheels far enough now? Yep, it looks far enough to me. Oh, we did it. Alright, now we wait. Run. Frickin' run, frickin' run, frickin' run! Ah! Uh, oh! Oh! Oh. Dang it. I got so far. Drive. Okay, we almost got there. Alright, wait for it. Go, 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 go. All right, didn't touch it, didn't go over the edge. Safe. We're safe. We are safe. Cool, disassemble this son of a gun. Oh, the spawnings could he learn here. Mazes for ingenuity, mechanics, dexterity, another area devoted to history, philosophy, and art, but no one was learning anything here. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Status report. The original course has been abandoned. Analysis of the environment show them to be imperfect. Continued searching resulted in failure. Determination. The error is in the subjects themselves. They will be upgraded. Improvements in basic functional functionality will result in improved adaptive skills. Deletion of historical records will reduce likelihood of repetition of prior failures. Assignment to unlings. Locate and eradicate the intruders. Oh. I hope I'm not that intruder. I would really like to not be that intruder. Unlings. So I think this is the first non-tutorial level, maybe? It certainly doesn't look tutorial-y. But it looks like I'm gonna have to learn how to turn, so... Unlings. Uh... Okay, you're gonna be hidden behind a wall? Maybe? What is this? Modifying the bodies was easy. It was permitted within given parameters. It was expected, even required. 
but I have gone further. I have started to use the simulation environment to test the neural networks to see if there was a cure for what doomed humanity. Oh, okay. Sure. So I have to learn how to turn, obviously. Because everything I've done so far has gone straight. Regular engines allow machines to move forwards and backwards. Steering engines function like regular engines, but also allow vehicles to turn. A narrow vehicle is likely to tilt or flip during a turn. A wider vehicle will be more stable. So we want something like this. Maybe. Just for a little bit of flair. So this is a engine with steering. Steering. This is like that. We are gonna bump you up, make sure that everything is facing forward. Good. I don't know if I need rods yet. Actually, I can look. Do I need rods? Not for that. Not for this. It doesn't look like it for- what is going on here? Oh, I click this and then these go up and I go over here. I have a hell of a trip going down. Okay, so this looks fun. Trouble steering? Make sure your wheels have enough room to turn left and right. Well, they certainly have enough room to turn left and right. Okay, well, we're just gonna... Oh, hey, it actually oriented itself properly. I like that, that's cute. I'm a little bit stuck on the stairs, though. Uh... Like, I promise, I promise, let's turn this way. Just gonna hold right, there you go, get up. Get up, get up. Alright, stairs are hard. Note to self, avoid stairs at all costs. I see what's the problem. Edit. I see the problem here. Also, I was thinking about rods, and we don't even have the access to rods, which is kind of funny. So we need to delete, like, this. Also delete this, because this looks ugly. Whatever, that's fine. It can be a little bit un unbalanced. Steering. Good. Non-powered. Good. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's still facing forward. Good. Now we have room to do stuff. I thought this thing weighed more, I guess, is how I could describe that, so that's why I wasn't doing stuff. Oh, that makes the things go up. Okay, of course, that's how that would work. Let me over. Thank you. Away we go! Oh wait, these are stairs. I thought they were just like ramps. Yeah, going downstairs is easy. It's the ramps that are, or the going up that's hard. She wondered how long they had been traveling. A year, a hundred years, a thousand. It didn't matter anymore. There was no room to go back to, only forward. Or there was no home to go back to, only forward. Sadly, I think I have to wrap it up right about there. That seems like it's going to be a really fun sort of puzzly game. Oh. That cutscene. I didn't realize. Seems like it's going to be a really fun game. So there's a dude that's also chasing after us. Is that Al? One so like me. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to the next episode, etc., etc. My name's Nagark, this is Mecho Echo. And things are going to get confusing. Thank you for watching!